District 8 Junior Football from St. David Field in Waterloo. The Celtics return to home field on Wednesday afternoon. The Celtics would take on the St. Mary's Eagles. The Eagles making the trip to David, looking to get on the board and come home with a win. Jumping into the first quarter, the Eagles with the ball. Jaden Samu takes the handoff and he takes off right. Jaden steps up before the end zone, but the Eagles would punch it in. Samu tumbles over the line, and it's 6-0 St. Mary's after one. Into the second quarter now, the Eagles back with the ball. Owen Moskalek locks down the run in the backfield, and the Celtics D would stay hungry. Here on the next play, and it's Braden Harmon in on the fumble recovery, so the Celtics take over possession. The Celtics offense come to frame, and it's a quick pass from Marco Ferfaro. He completes to Nashon Tellis, and it's Nashon down the sideline to the end zone. That play gives the Celtics the lead, and they keep cooking. This is Xavier Pregelge with a punt return. Xavier takes the ball past the line of scrimmage, and the Celtics keep rolling. The Eagles would turn the ball over, but looking for the Celtics D. Chase Huber strips the ball on the tackle. David De Silva finds it in the dirt. That play sets the Celtics up in Eagles territory, and they get to work. Marco Ferfaro rolls out and completes to Xavier Pregelge. The Celtics end up in the red zone, and here in the red zone, it's Pregelge at QB with a QB keeper finisher. Xavier extends the Celtics' lead, and we'd head to the half with St. David up 14 to 6. Into the third quarter, now the Eagles with the ball on their own end. Chase Huber forces another fumble. The ball rolls into the end zone. It's a scramble, and Nate Piva finds it for the touchdown. So it's 21 for the Celtics. Later in the quarter, now the Celtics on fourth down. Marco Ferfaro is under pressure. Alexei Tanaskovich finds the interception. The Celtics unrelenting, however, and later in the quarter, it's Ferfaro going back to Nashon Tellis. Nashon cuts back in, and he stops it in the end zone. So it's 28-6 Celtics after three. Into the fourth now, the Eagles are going to get going on offense. Seem to get a drives into a pack of Celtics for an Eagles first. And St. Mary's would move downfield. Here in front of the goal line now, and it's Grayson Gardner getting it done. Gardner brings the Eagles tally to 12, but that's as close as they would get as the Celtics pick up another win. This one ending with a final score of 28-12.